today I'm going to be going over my spring hair routine with you guys. And starting off with shampoo and conditioner, I have been using the Numi Pure Remedy Repair Line, which I love because it nourishes my hair and protects it from heat styling. So after the shower, I let my hair towel dry a little bit and then I take it down from the towel and it's time to detangle using the Macadamia No Tangle Spray and I just spray this throughout my hair and it's thicker than other detanglers which I really like. I use this first so it has a little bit of time to sit in my hair and then I follow up with my Kerastase Nectar Thermique which I've been using for a while now and this is great because it's a heat protectant and it also detangles so we got double the detangle duty going on here. I like to work this into the ends of my hair and then I take whatever is left over and work it into the top parts of my hair just so it isn't greasy. So then it is time for my Macadamia Heal oil spray and I just work this into the ends of my hair to control frizz and just to nourish it even more. To get rid of tangles once and for all, I like to use my wet brush which is a brush that's designed to be used on wet hair. So it's very gentle, it doesn't pull your hair out and it gets rid of those tangles. Then it's time to dry my hair and I don't really do anything special here, I just blow dry it. I like to dry the top section a little bit first and then I flip my hair over and dry the rest like this just to add some more volume. Now I'm going to be using my Straight Sexy Hair Smooth and Protect and this is great for curled hair as well. It really just smooths everything down and protects it from heat styling. Just takes a after brushing that in, I like to section off my hair so I just divide it in half and then I pin it up. Now it's time to curl my hair, so I'm going to be using my Numi 25mm curling wand and I'm going to take a section of hair and I'm going to twist it and then I wrap this around the barrel of the curling iron and since this doesn't have a clip on it, it doesn't create any weird kinks in your hair, so that is a good thing. When I release my hair, I'm left with this really cool combination of a wave and a curl. I like to keep this part pretty random, so I'll grab different sized chunks of hair, I'll alternate the direction of the curl, and sometimes I don't twist my hair beforehand so that just kind of adds a whole different texture to the look. Then I just run my fingers through my hair and I'm left with these really nice laid back wavy curls. And then I just keep doing this all over my head and it doesn't take too long either because this curling iron is awesome and you don't have to hold the curl around the barrel that long, just a few seconds and the job is done. So I will have the link for this down below for you guys. And for those of you who love a good discount, which I'm pretty sure is like everybody, I will have some coupon codes down below that you can use as well. I really love this look for spring because it has that mix of textures to it. It's super quick and easy to do and it gives you that like I tried but I didn't try kind of look. I'd go now I'm going to be using my L'Oreal L Net Hairspray and this is awesome because it holds your hair in place without making it feel crispy. And yes, I refer to my hair as being crispy. <laughs> So this is the finished look, and now we can move on into the DIY headbands. So first off, you're gonna need a variety of lace. I have this wider ribbon, and I also have a thinner one with a little bit of beading on it, and I also found this lace applique at Michael's. You'll also need a plain headband in your choice of color. I just recommend something that goes with the lace that you chose, and some plain ribbon that has that like smooth, satiny finish to it. And last, you're gonna need some scissors and some tacky glue or super glue. Now I'm just cutting the lace ribbon to size so it fits the headband and I'm taking the glue and running it acro blah, blah, across the band of the headband. Then I put the lace over the top and press it down so it all stays in place. Now I'm left with something that looks like this and I can move on into adding the beaded ribbon thingy. So I'm just basically doing the same thing, measuring it out, and I switched over to super glue just because I found that this worked a little bit better. And I'm just taking this and spreading it across the band so I can take the strip and place it over the top just like I did before. The sunshine came out today. And that is pretty much it for the first headband. So now moving on into the second one, I'm going to be using the satiny piece of ribbon and I'm going to take a little bit of the super glue, place it across the ribbon where I want it to be and put the lace applique over the top. And it's as simple as that, super easy and you're left with a really pretty headband like this. And just so you guys can see what they look like on, here is the first headband that I made. And you're so within. 
we have the second one. So I just wanted to say hi to you guys at the end of this video, so hello! And I hope you enjoyed this hair tutorial along with the little mini DIY project because I'm loving these little lacy headbands right now. I think they're super cute and girly. And I also wanted to let you guys know that there is a giveaway happening where you can win some of the hair products that I used in this video. So if you would like to enter, all of the rules will be down below for you guys so you can read through them. And if you want to enter, you can. And if you don't want to, you don't have to. So yeah, I think that's gonna be it for today. I hope you all are doing really well and I hope you all are having a marvelous, spectacular, wonderful day, and I will see you guys later. Bye!